Those are kind of the three words that you might hear in your day-to-day -day activities. If you work in IT, if you work in security, if you work in compliance, uh, if you're a business unit owner and you manage a team and you notice that your team's using lots of technology, something like one login, which is very easy to roll out and deploy, can uh, be a very good starting point for identity and access management around those solutions. Uh, one thing that I want to touch base on real quick is the concept of a directory. So I, if you guys can hear me clearly and you're also paying attention, how many of you have active directory and type? Just a show of hands, LDAP directories, things like that. So the premise is that now that email is moving to the cloud, now that file storage is moving to the cloud, you have to really start questioning what you're using Active Directory for. Uh, Active Directory was originally on the basis of setting up an exchange server, on the basis of setting up a domain for printers and NTFS. You're printing less, your file sharing is already outside of your control, your email in the cloud. So people are asking us time and time again, why do we have AD? What's the point of this still? And there's still a lot of these cases where AD makes perfect sense. But as you're looking forward, looking at what the next step might be, we believe that there may be potentially a feature where you use a cloud directory for all of your SaaS applications as opposed to having on-premise active directories that you need to support or LDAP directories that you need to maintain or deploy or create redundancy around. So one of the things you may also know is that Zscaler being a cloud proxy yields itself very well to, to progressive IT teams that don't want to host a lot of on-premise technology. And I would imagine that if you're looking at a Zscaler, if that you're using a product like that or you're going to be using a product like that, you're, you're already starting to question your infrastructure that you have today. You're looking at AWS and how you can put those types of things in the cloud. So along with Zscaler being a cloud technology, one login being a cloud identity management solution and offering cloud directory, we support three of the key initiatives that Zscaler brings to your organization. I'm just going to blaze through these. There are three features here, the persistent threat protection, the internet breakouts locally inside the office, and mobile security. Now, all three of these align with exactly what we try to do for our customers. Um, not only that, but we believe that whether you're using an on-premise directory, whether you're using Google Apps as a directory, Workday, whether you want to use those and you don't yet, we can help you get there and wrap security measures around it with one login that you would have with Active Directory and wrap uh, proxy technologies around it like Zscaler where you have to authenticate against this cloud directory before you can access a web site or an internal web resource or anything else that might be used across your organization. <clears throat> and that's the end of the presentation. So thank you all for uh, joining us to talk about what we've learned in identity and access management in the cloud.